Okay, now we're going to be um, doing the branches of the abdominal aorta. So we're now below the diaphragm. Still following, following your guide to arteries and veins, we are going to be looking at these major branches of the abdominal aorta. We're going to start with the topmost, the most superior branch. This is the celiac trunk. Now this celiac trunk is huge and it's going to give out three branches of its own that you'll see. The common hepatic artery, the gastric artery, and the splenic artery. So the first thing we're going to look at is the celiac trunk. Then just inferior to the celiac trunk is the superior mesenteric artery. Now this guy has multiple, multiple branches because it is going to be supplying the pancreas, all of the small intestines, and most of the large intestines. So it's got lots of branches. Just inferior to the superior mesenteric artery is going to be the right and left renal arteries, obviously taking blood to the kidneys. And inferior to the renal arteries is going to be the right and left gonadal arteries. These are taking um, blood to their respective gonads, either ovarian arteries or testicular arteries. And the last branch of the abdominal aorta we're going to look at is the inferior mesenteric artery. So let's see what these look like. So in this drawing here, here we see the diaphragm. So here, this whole thing is the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta stops right here where it's going to be splitting. So the first thing we're going to see right here, this is the celiac trunk. There are three branches. I don't know if you can see, but there's one, two, three. This first branch here that's going to the right side, this is the common hepatic artery going to the liver and gallbladder. This little guy up here is the gastric artery going to the distal end of the esophagus and stomach. And this guy is the splenic artery. He's going to be going to the spleen. So this collection of three arteries is a celiac trunk. Inferior to the celiac trunk is the superior mesenteric artery, this guy here. And then just distal to him is going to be the, the renal arteries, right and left renal arteries. Then we have these tiny little guys, these little skinny um, thread-like arteries. These are our gonadal arteries going to their respective gonads. And then the most distal of our branches is the inferior mesenteric artery. So now on this diagram, this is a chart from our classroom. Again, here is the abdominal aorta. And we're going to start up in here, this first collection. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. This first collection of blood vessels is the celiac trunk. You can see three, three branches of the celiac trunk. One coming to the right side. This is the liver and the gallbladder is right underneath it. This is the common hepatic artery. This guy is the gastric artery. He's actually going to the distal end of the esophagus and the stomach, the stomach's been removed. And here is the splenic artery. You can see it going to the spleen here. Now here's our pancreas. And then we have, peeking out here, we have the superior mesenteric artery. And then just inferior to the superior mesenteric artery is going to be the renal arteries that you can't see very well in this view. And then these skinny little guys down here, I mean, you can barely see them. It's this little skinny thread down here. This is going to be the right gonadal artery. And on this side is the left gonadal artery. T hard to see here. And then the last branch of our abdominal aorta is this guy. This is the inferior mesenteric artery.
So I have another view here. Let's see if we can get a little closer on this guy. Again, the first thing we're going to see coming out um, underneath the ab, um, the diaphragm is going to, here's their diaphragm, is going to be the celiac trunk, three branches, common hepatic, gastric, and splenic. Here is our superior mesenteric artery. Here is our left renal artery. The right renal artery is peeking out here. Here is the gonadal artery. This one is the right gonadal artery going to its respective gonad. And here's the left gonadal artery going to its respective gonad. And here is the inferior mesenteric artery. So remember, the superior mesenteric artery is supplying blood uh, oxygenated blood and nutrients to the pancreas, the entire small intestines, and most of the large intestines. The inferior mesenteric artery supplying oxygenated blood and nutrients to uh, the last part of the large intestines. So once we get down to the end of our aorta, so here's the the end of the aorta, it the aorta is going to split. It's going to bifurcate into these structures right here. This is the common iliac arteries, and they are right here. Here's the iliac crest of the iliac bone. So right at that junction, that's where that you're going to get this split of the abdominal aorta. So this is a common iliac artery on the right, common iliac artery on the left, and here is the internal iliac ar artery here. Here's the internal iliac artery here. So these internal iliac arteries are going to be supplying, we are now in the pelvic cavity, supplying blood to pelvic organs, the bladder in males and females, and the uterus in females. So common iliac, internal iliac, and then this is going to be the external iliac artery. External iliac artery on the left, external iliac artery on the right. Let's see, I think I have a model, ooh, way too close there. <laughs> Here is the model in our classroom. Same thing, we are coming through the diaphragm this first collection we see here is going to be the celiac trunk. Hard to really see all three branches there, but that's the celiac trunk. Here's the superior mesenteric artery. Here is the right and left renal arteries. Here are the little gonadal arteries going to their gonads. And here is the inferior mesenteric artery. So once we get to the inferior mesenteric artery, we are at the distal end of the aorta. So here's our iliac crest. So that's where we're going to have the branching of our abdominal aorta. This is the common iliac arteries. And here is the internal iliac artery on the left side and the external iliac artery on the left side can't really see the internal iliac on this side, but here's the external iliac artery. Now the abdominal aorta, remember, is elastic artery. These common iliac arteries are also elastic arteries. They are coming right off the mighty ab abdominal aorta. So these external iliac arteries are going to be passing underneath the inguinal ligament and taking blood into our legs. So on this, here's the diagram I sent you. So this you need to fill out. Practice writing this, the, the arteries down, till you get this pattern down. Coming underneath the, the diaphragm, here is the abdominal aorta, all elastic artery. 
And here's the first thing we see. What is this? It's a celiac trunk. It has three branches. Here is the common hepatic artery. So write it down, common hepatic artery, supplying blood to the liver and gallbladder. Here is the gastric artery. So write that down, gastric artery, taking blood to the distal end of the esophagus and the stomach. This is the splenic artery going to the spleen. Next blood vessel inferior to the celiac um, trunk is the superior mesenteric artery. Write that in, superior mesenteric artery. This is supplying blood to the pancreas, all of the small intestines, and most of the large intestines. Then we're going to go down to our renal arteries, our left and right renal arteries. Just distal to them is going to be the gonadal arteries. And then our last branch of the abdominal aorta is this guy, the inferior mesenteric artery supplying blood to the last portion of the large intestines. So here's the end of the abdominal aorta. Then it's going to split. These are the common iliac arteries. So write that down, common iliac artery. This is going to be on the right side. It's the left side. And then it's going to split into the right and left internal iliac arteries. And here is the external iliac arteries. External iliac arteries. These are going to pass underneath the inguinal ligament and take our blood down into our leg. So remember, abdominal aorta, elastic artery. Right and left common iliac arteries, elastic arteries. Everything else is muscular. What's next here? Oh, this guy again. So these are all numbered again for you. This is all on your guide to arteries and veins. Just follow the numbers there. But let's look at this guy a little bit better here. So once again, here is, this is the heart. Well, this is kind of a little blurry there, isn't it? Here's the heart. So the heart is resting on the diaphragm. These are actually the phrenic arteries that are supplying the diaphragm right here. But you don't need to know those. So the first thing you are going to be seeing is this collection right here. This is the celiac trunk. Here is the common hepatic artery going to the liver and gallbladder. This is the gastric artery going to the um, esophagus, distal end of the esophagus and the, the stomach. And this is the splenic artery. So this whole collection is a celiac trunk. Here's the superior mesenteric artery, kind of small right there. Here is the right and left renal arteries. Here are the gonadal arteries. This is actually a testicular artery because it's going down to the testicles. So you can see the gonadal arteries going all the way down to the testicles here. And here is our inferior mesenteric artery. It's taking blood to the, the last portion of the large intestines. Here's where the abdominal aorta ends common iliac arteries, internal iliac arteries, and external iliac arteries that are be going to go underneath the inguinal ligament and into the lower limb. So not too bad. So just practice um, this pattern and once you see it, it it'll make sense to you. So the last video we'll, we'll be doing is the blood vessels to the, the lower limb, the leg.